Now, I just thought I'd do a quick video with my new microphone uh, and I'll run through every lathe that I have, uh, listing the pros and cons briefly. Uh, later on, I'll do better videos. Uh, here we have the Vicmark VL300. It's an amazing machine. I absolutely had to buy it. Uh, every professional would turn around the world has one, so I needed one too. So, <clears throat> there's very little to complain about uh, when using this machine. Uh, the switch here, from time to time, does uh, lose contact and you have to use uh, an electrical contact cleaner to free it up and get it moving again. But that's not the end of the world. Uh, it's extremely sturdy. Uh, I use this for nearly everything that I do. Uh, bed extension is a must. Or you could use the swing way a bed. Uh, the biggest problems I have with this are the, the, the end of the quill. Every now and again it seizes up and doesn't auto eject. But uh, Vicmark have a video on that. So extremely sturdy machine. But I have uh, managed to stop it when turning ash. Uh, big 16 inch blanks. So that's that one. Nice and clean. Now, a jet, the 2424 sharp bed. This also has a bed extension. I got tired of lifting off the, the tailstock unit, which is something in the region 30 kgs. So basically all my machines have uh, bed extensions now. They make a huge difference. The banjo in this is absolutely terrible. So initially it comes with a grub screw here and I added a second handle. It is very heavy and awkward to move. So when you're trying to get something done quickly, you find it very hard. The quill in this is excellent. If you turn it, it'll freewheel an awful lot of the way. This machine also comes with a vacuum chuck, which is currently disconnected. So, uh, the other part of that is somewhere up in the shelves here. I'll do that in another video. Nice and easy to change the speed settings in this. And this is a very powerful machine. Uh, this was my first lathe, my fir very first purchase. No, the 3520B from Jet. So, this is a two horsepower machine. And very on, early on, I figured out that uh, the weight uh, wasn't good, wasn't heavy enough, so I had to add some of my own weights to it. There's an extra 100 kgs weighing down the machine, just to give it that bit of uh, stability. Uh, the quill is terrible in this, and it seizes up, and every time I try and clear it out, it just seems to make it worse. So someday, when I have a bit of time and the inclination to do it, I'll do a better job. Bed extension again, and of course, cover with crap. Uh, it's a pretty good machine. The, not too expensive. And you can see here, I use a VM120 chucks from Vicmark for everything. Uh, after using cheaper ones and then using one of these, I'll never again go back to the cheap ones. Now, to my smaller machines. Record power DML320. Uh, I would consider it a very entry machine. You know, if you're going to spend money on a lathe, you'd, you'd get this to start off with. And you can always keep it and use it for smaller work as you go on. Um, the tool rest, this is the one that comes with it. It's terrible, it's too short. So I ended up having to buy this. Uh, pretty soon I'm going to replace it for the Robert Sorby modular system when I can afford to. Uh, so it's nice and quiet. Takes a bit of time to start up and to slow down. But it's okay for a beginner. <coughs> now my 1221 VS from Jet. This is the machine I do all my dovetailing on. I get my pieces ready for the chalk. It just makes sense to do on this. I've added this recently. These are depth setters. 
and I made a steel frame. I used to have a wooden frame, but there was too much vibration, so I got a local engineer to do it in steel. And you could put a car on this, it's so strong. So each of my machines has a different function. Uh, I like to keep it that way. And then this is for demonstrating during my classes. Now this is not a variable speed lathe. You change the belt inside this section here, which is very slow. I hate doing it. I used to hate doing it in my older lathes. So I just leave it at the same speed. It's not too bad. Two rest is absolutely awful and I will be changing this to uh, a Sorby modular at some stage when I can afford it. You know, what else was there? Okay. Now, I like to use these step centers. This is a revolving tailstock center, which I haven't used in this one. I need to buy another one for this machine. I have a cup center in there at the moment, which is not as good. Anyway, uh, at some stage in the future, I'll concentrate on each machine. I'll put a peace sign and I'll show you some more pro and pros and cons. See you later.